Welcome back to another one. Recently got a chance to test drive and review the 2019 Camaro SS 1LE package. Definitely liked it. Also having owned a 2019 Mustang GT. I think that kind of puts me in a good position at this point to do a good comparison between the two. So let's get started. And so in this video, I am going to go over 10 key differences between the 2019 Camaro SS and the 2019 Ford Mustang GT, starting with the pricing. So to start the base price, and of course there's always plenty of options, but base price for the Camaro SS is going to start at $37,995. Base price for the Mustang GT is going to start at $35,355. And there are several reasons why the Mustang GT does start at a lower price. For instance, the standard setup does come with a Sync 1 system, which is kind of a small little display, whereas the Camaro SS does come standard with an 8-inch color touchscreen display, and that's going to be a Available with the Sync 3 system on the Mustang GT, so that's just one of them. But anyways, now let me touch on one of the most substantial differences between the two the transmission now both the camaro ss and the mustang gt now offer the available 10 speed automatic with paddle shifters which gm and ford collaborated on so it is essentially the same transmission and that transmission is what i have in this 2019 mustang gt and it really is an amazing transmission it always knows exactly when to shift it's more efficient when you use the drive modes with it and it really does help make the most out of each power plant but when it comes to the transmission the manual setup really is completely different they both do offer a six-speed manual and both do come with active rev matching but with the mustang gt it comes with the mt82 which at this point is known for having some shift fork issues so reliability is definitely questionable and when i personally drove it the clutch feel didn't feel as nice as it did in previous years at least in my opinion and honestly what the mustang gt really needs with that six-speed manual is for the tremec to be put in it just like the shelby gt350 and just like the Camaro SS. That leads me into that one. The 2019 Camaro SS does use a Tremec six-speed manual. And during my short test drive of that one, I did not have any issues finding the grab points. Also like that there was the suede shift knob because I had the 1LE package. That I was definitely loving. And Tremec has been around since 1964 and definitely has a history of good reliability when it comes to making manual transmissions. So when it comes to the manual transmission, that one I have to give to the Camaro SS. Now let's touch on another fun one the power of both cars Mustang GT is going to give you a 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 460 horsepower 420 pound feet of torque but because it has the 10 speed automatic and a drag mode that is going to give you a 0 to 60 time coming in at right at around 3.9 seconds then when you look at the Camaro SS that is going to give you a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 giving you 455 horsepower 455 pound feet of torque 0 to 60 time comes in at right around 4 seconds flat so definitely very close when it comes to that 0 to 60 time but what everyone has been asking me though which one actually feels faster and while they are very similar cars it is kind of apples to oranges because I drove the manual Camaro SS drove the automatic Mustang GT both in 2019 and the Mustang GT again has that drag strip mode and I gotta say in that drag strip mode the Mustang GT definitely feels faster. The shifts are very precise, and because of that mode, it holds the RPMs constantly in the power band. So you're constantly getting peak horsepower and peak torque all the way throughout your acceleration. So that is why, in my opinion, the Mustang GT feels faster, at least. And as of now, that Camaro SS does not have a drag strip mode, although they're probably going to be adding it in future years. But for now, it does not have it. But that is not to say the Camaro SS is slow, because it is not. It is an insanely quick car as well. Just in my opinion the mustang gt feels faster because of that but next on my list the handling and suspension and you guys probably already know which way this one is going to go when it comes to the base mustang gt versus the base camaro ss hands down handling definitely goes to the camaro ss because a couple different reasons attribute to this the camaro does have a longer wheelbase it is 3.6 inches longer 110.7 inches versus 107.1 inches so of course with a longer wheelbase you're going to have slightly better handling there but i will say the 2018 mustang when it had a performance pack level one camaro ss still had it but with the performance pack level two 
available and that is going to be more comparable to the 1LE Camaro SS. Now the Mustang is available with 10.5 inch tires up front, 11 inches in the back, a track inspired Magna Ride damping system, also track inspired chassis, springs and sway bar. That performance pack level 2 if you compare it to the Camaro SS 1LE that is more on an even playing field now. So if you were to take both of those cars to the track, definitely would be a very close race. And as far as the steering feel goes, personally, it feels pretty identical to me. I love the steering feel. It's definitely a heavier weight to it in both cars, but it does feel pretty similar there. Since we're talking about the track still, let me touch on the braking comparisons here. Both cars are going to be available with Brembo 6 piston front calipers. And according to Motor Trend, the 60 to 0 time on the Camaro SS 1LE is 93 feet. And again, according to Motor Trend, 60 to 0 time in the Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 is 94 feet. Only a foot difference between the two now due to the wider, stickier tires on the Performance Pack Level 2. So Camaro SS still has it once again, but they are practically identical. One foot isn't really all that much of a difference, honestly. In the end, you got to give it to the Camaro once again there. But now let me touch on the visibility. I think we all know which way this one is going to go. This is an easy one. Not going to spend much time on it because of that, but Camaro visibility obviously is not the best. The only worst visibility I can think of in cars that I've personally reviewed is the 350 or 370Z. That is a little bit worse, but Mustang when it comes to visibility is definitely quite nice. So let me just give this one to the Mustang and let's move on to practicality. And so let me start with trunk space. In the Camaro SS, that will give you 9.1 cubic feet of trunk space. And I will say it has a higher entry point as well. So you do have to lift items a little bit higher as opposed to the Mustang to put them in the trunk. I did want to mention that. Trunk space on the Mustang though is going to come in at 13.5 cubic feet. I will say that does equate for a good bit more space in the Mustang GT. However, both cars, those rear seats do fold down. So it will give you some extra space if you needed it there. Rear legroom Camaro X actually wins this one 29.9 inches versus 29 inches flat for the Mustang but really anything under I would say 33 inches is basically unusable anyways <laughs> so the rear seat legroom really doesn't mean anything now the Challenger on the other hand that one you can fit in but we're not talking about that today so when it comes to practicality since the rear seats really don't matter because either way they're unusable I'm gonna have to give it to the Mustang again just because of the trunk space increase so that is definitely nice now let's touch on the sound and I'm not talking about the stereo I'm talking about the exhaust note when I compare the 1LE I recently drove to my own Mustang, I think I may just have to give it to the 1LE just based off of the crackles that I kept hearing when I was driving in that thing. And of course, the Camaro I was driving had the dual mode exhaust, so that is what makes that crackle happen. Definitely an amazing sound though. However, the Mustang I am in right now does have an X-pipe on it, so when it comes to loudness, I still got that one, but I wish it had the crackle that the 1LE had, I will say that. But comparing stock to stock, the Camaro's dual mode exhaust is comparable to the Mustang's active exhaust. They both provide the exact same thing. And again, comparing the stock setup, the 1LE does crackle more, but I am pretty sure the Mustang active exhaust is louder than the Camaro's dual mode exhaust. So whatever you prefer, loudness versus the crackle, and the active exhaust does have a little bit of the crackle as well. So I think I might actually call the sound a tie on this one. <laughs> Let's skip to the next comparison, which is the interior. And so in this one, I have to give it to the Mustang because there is an available carbon fiber interior trim that definitely looks good. Also available is the full digital display setup. Camaro does not have that yet either. And that looks absolutely amazing. And also you have the performance pack gauge display as well as the Mustang insignia just above the passenger side glove box there. And in comparison, when you check out the Camaro's interior, it's not bad, it's just more basic. Although I will say on the Camaro, I did like the suede accents that I had in the 1LA. I'd definitely give it that one. And now for my last comparison, and this is the most controversial, so I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section on this one, but it is not a comparison without comparing the exteriors of these two vehicles. And I will say, having seen the Camaro SS in person, it is not as bad in person as it looks on camera and in film, but I actually do like the Camaro refresh compared to the previous year. But what I really like on the Camaro exterior is the smoked taillights, which comes standard on the Camaro SS, just like the Corvette Z06, and I really 
wish the Mustang would come up with something like this. It doesn't have to be standard necessarily, but at least make it an option because it looks so much better than those bright red taillights that go with absolutely nothing else in my car right now. So I do like that as well, but again, overall, I gotta give the exterior styling to the Mustang, although some people say it looks like a catfish up front. I think Stegosaurus looks like a freaking awesome catfish, I have to say. The 2019 Mustang is essentially a modern day 69 Fastback in my opinion, which was one of the best years for the Mustang, of course. As far as improvement goes for the Camaro, what I would personally do, of course, is redo the front end to start to make it look less like a Honda Accord. Nothing wrong with the Accord styling, but the front end just doesn't look like a Camaro should. Then in the back for the Camaro, I would bring that back down a little bit, more of a fastback-like design like they had back in the late 60s. So right now, the back kind of ends up, which kind of messes with the visibility as well, but Chevy could correct not only the visibility, but the styling by just bringing that back down a little bit somehow. Kind of like the Mustang currently has. But so in the end, both the Camaro SS and the Mustang GT are both amazing cars. And when I was buying my Mustang GT, I even said it on video, the Camaro SS 1LE was my second choice and a very close second choice, which is why I wanted to compare these two. But both are very similar cars and it really comes down to personal preference in the end. I personally feel more at home in the Mustang and essentially the styling won me over in the Mustang and the power is absolutely amazing as it is in the Camaro SS but there is indeed a reason why the Mustang is the best-selling sports car in the world and it is a combination really of everything so if you are considering the Camaro definitely test drive the Mustang and vice versa because both truly are amazing cars and they do both deserve your attention hey so but anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe